Hello and hi. So now we will continue our chapter three, part three, still in the same topic selection control structure. By this, uh, uh, we will go to the multi, multi, uh, okay, multi with, okay, multi way selection. So uh, in the multi way selection, what is multi way selection? Use when they are more than two choices okay more than two choices when and if else is included within and if else it is known as a nested if so we will say that if inside the if statement okay so uh, or we also can um, maybe we can Say it's a looping, looping condition. Okay, when you loop, 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 looping, 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 it's like a ball. Okay, uh, the statement will go round uh, between the condition, and then if the condition is still true, it will go back to the first, and then it will go, and then it will check the condition true or false. So true, it will go back. And execute the statement so it will check. So we know that uh, it's uh, more than two choices, and also in a state if, if, if else uh, in the if else statement. Okay, so okay, type, type one syntax if condition one statement one, else if condition two statement two, okay, else. Statement three. So we know that we have a three condition. Okay. Uh, for example, the previous slide or previous video, uh, we say that uh, Ali want, wants to go to KL by bus or by car or by flight. So uh, if Ali uh, have only hundred ringgit, so. We know that the condition uh, we will execute Ali must go by bus. Okay, else if and then uh, Ali have five hundred ringgit. Okay, so uh, Ali can choose to go to KL by flight. So it's more time consuming. Okay, and also else statement three, Ali can go to KL by car. Okay. So, uh, it's a for example. Okay, I'm trying to uh, to look back at what we uh, we had done before, so you didn't lose in our class. Okay, so in the type one, for example, if total sales. Okay, so maybe in the supermarket or hypermarket. So we know that. Uh, 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 promoter want to uh, want uh, want to get their salary, okay? Or promoter will get uh, the commission uh, based on the total sales, okay? So we know that if total sales more than ten thousand, okay, ten thousand ringgit, so the promoter will get a commission of. 250 ringgit else if total sales okay more than 5000 okay so we know that more than 5000 but not exceed 10000 okay so the commission is 200 ringgit only so else okay else commission is 100 ringgit that's mean the promoter maybe uh, get the total sales only 1,000, okay, only 2,000, 3,000, 4,900, okay, 4,999 uh, ringgit. So, uh, the promoter still will get the commission 100 ringgit only, okay. So, this is the flow chart, okay, total sales, as we know. Uh, more than 10,000. So it's true. We go to commission 250. If false, okay, if false, then 
We know that maybe total sales in between 5,000 and 10,000. Okay, not exceed 10,000. But uh, it's more than 5,000. So it's true. So the commission is 200 ringgit. Or false statement uh, for the second condition. So we know that the total sales is below than 5,000 ringgit. So the commission is 100 ringgit only. Okay. Exercise, write a program that could determine whether an integer is positive or negative. Zero number, number, number more, is no, more than zero, display the number is positive. Okay, you can uh, do this exercise and uh, please send to me in the Google Classroom. Okay. Okay. Example, write a, write a program to determine the grade obtained by a student based on the mark entered. The next example shows the coding to determine the grade based on the marks from the highest to the lowest. So we know that now uh, we want to determine whether the grade uh, is maybe A, B, C uh, by a student uh, based on the mark entered by the by a teacher okay so we know that if mark more than 80 okay mark more than 80 so see how it will uh, output the output is grade equals to a and line else if mark more than 75 but below than 80 okay Okay, so mark is more, more than or equal to 75, but below than 80, maybe 79, the grade is A minus. Okay, so we know that mark 70, the grade is B plus, uh, mark uh, uh, 65 and above, but it's not exceed 70, the grade is B, so etc, etc, as you can see here. Okay, so... We also can do like this. If mark, okay, when we are trying uh, to use a connector and or right, okay, like a previous video, okay. So if marks is if marks uh, more or equals to eighty, and mark is below or equals to hundred. So the grade is A. So we need to check whether the condition is true uh, with uh, this statement. This is true and true. So the, the grade is A. Okay, same goes to the other line of program. Okay. As if mark is more than zero, more and or equals to zero, and marks is uh, less than 50. Okay, less than 50. So, we know that the grade is F. Okay. Why we put only less than 50? Why? Because 50, okay, it will execute in this line. Okay. Why? Because they put it marks more than or equals to 50. So, we know that here 50 uh, will... Uh, goes to this line grade C but if uh, below than 50 maybe 49.9 it's below than, below than 50 so the grade is F else so invalid mark why because marks need to, uh, to be in the number okay so else uh, student cannot uh, get the negative marks Okay, so it will uh, pop up ataupun it will output uh, the invalid marks line. Okay. Example marks from the lowest to the highest. Okay. If you want to, uh, the, this example is from highest to lowest. Okay. This example is from lowest to highest. Okay. If marks um, not more than uh, below or we call it um, less or equals to 49 ok 
Okay, so the grade is F. As if mark is less or equals to 50. Okay. The grade is C. I think uh, there's some sort of uh, correction in this note. Uh, it's supposed to be not uh, less. It's supposed to be marks is more or equals to 50. Okay, so the grade is C. Okay, as if mark is more or equals to 55. So it will go to grade C plus, etc. etc. So there are, there are some sort of correction here, I think. Okay, never mind. Uh, what is the output if the marks equals to 60? So the marks equals to 60, the output is grade equals to B plus. Okay. Okay, this the, the, the next example, uh, the use of is statement only. Okay, so if you, want, if you notice in this example, we use if, as if, as if, as if, as if, as if, as if. Okay, but uh, in this example, we use if statement only. Okay, so if mark. Uh, not more than 49, okay, or equals to 49, the grade is F. Smart is more than 50, the grade is C. So this is, uh, we can use some sort like this, okay. Okay, multi-way selection, we continue to type 2. Uh, that is uh, the previous the, the previous one is a type 1, so this is a type 2. Syntax if condition 1, if, okay, in if, in condition 1, in if, first if, we have a second if, and then we have a else statement, and then we have a else statement here. Okay, we go to the example uh, for you to notice or for you to uh, understood what, uh, and I am trying to say, okay, if number more than zero, okay, so, for example, number, we put it two, okay, number here, we put it two, so that the number is more than zero, okay, it will go to this body, if, the first if body, and then, okay, we use the second if, okay, if number more or less by 2, okay, if number more or less by 2 equals to 0, okay, so we know that uh, the C out, uh, it will print out the number is positive and even, uh, else the number is positive and odd, why? Because we know that the first statement number is more than zero. Okay, so we know that the number is still positive, but is it even or odd? It depends on the second if. Okay, but if the number that we uh, insert is uh, negative five, so it will go to this body. Number is negative. Okay, okay. So this is the flowchart for the multi-way selection. If uh, nested if, eh? if, and we have a if in if body. Okay. So number more than zero, true. Number more or less by two equals to uh, zero is true. It will display number is positive and even, or it will display uh, number is positive and odd. Or, or, or else uh, it will display number is negative and then we end line okay okay the use of string comp string compare okay string compare okay string compare in if else okay we want to compare the string okay 
strcmp is string compare is a predefined function in string dot h header file it is used to compare string in the selection control structure okay the syntax is if string compare string 1 string 2 equals to 0 it will execute statement 1 else it will execute statement 2 okay for example if string compare okay we want to compare menu snack plate equals to 0 okay we know that so it will go to two pieces of chicken okay else if string compare menu equals to dinner plate okay it will compare menu and dinner plate equals to 0 so it will go to three pieces of chicken okay else so we know that it's a kid's meal okay the use uh, okay let's say the use of string compare in if else okay let's continue let's say we want to compare to string namely string 1 and string 2 the string compare can return three value okay return value okay this is the return value uh, below than zero the first character that does not match has a lower value in string 1 than in string 2 equals equals to zero the content of both strings are equals or more than zero the first character that does not match has a greater value in string one than in string two okay Ident identification in selection control structure identification is very important okay uh, in then indentation eh? indentation in selection control structure Indentation is very important in the selection control structure. Okay, the purpose is to increase the readability in the complex selection control structure, especially in nested if. It is easier to trace the incomplete if else structure by using the indentation. What mean by that? What is indentation? Okay, we will see after this. Use a pair of curly break curly bracket for each if and else even though there is only one statement for each if and else okay so this is what we call indentation okay indentation so we indent it uh, to make it more clear so we know that for example if number okay so number is positive number is negative so we know that because uh, we put it uh, in in then shape okay okay next is if we have a nested if so we indent here it's okay if you want to put it here it's okay but you will maybe confusing on oh, what is uh, if this else is uh, associated to uh, which if okay so when we put in then we know that else this else is associated to this if okay and then this else if okay belongs to this if and then this else also belongs to this if okay so the indentation is a very important in nested if okay for you to uh, have a clear view about your program okay switch statement switch structure is another another type of multi-way selection control structure in switch structure the expression is evaluated first okay the general syntax as follow switch expression case one okay case value one statement and break case value two straight statements to and break so we know that in switch you have case and break okay so this is uh, the very important keyword that you need to use case and break if not uh, it will maybe return the wrong answer for you okay 
So in the switch, uh, we know uh, if we use the switch statement, we will, we will have a case and break. Okay. So default maybe is a, a default statement. So we will put it here. Okay. The word switch case break and default are reserved words. Okay. Okay. What is the different uh, difference between if and switch? Okay, let's see. If you notice, okay, we have uh, uh, this maybe if value one in if else statement if value one if value two uh, or else if value two else if value three. And then else, okay, else, and then we will execute a statement. So it is quite the same. It depend on you uh, to use um, which way that you really want to use. If you really like to use switch, it's okay. If you want to use uh, if else structure, is also okay. Okay. As long as you know how to use uh, this kind of structure or this kind of statement. So, the statement is something like this. Begin, input, case value 1, true, statement 1, break, case value 2, statement 2, break, case value, uh, etc, etc, value n, okay. If true and then we will break or by default, it will print out the statement and it will end the execution process. Example of using identifier as the expression. Okay. Please enter your grade. See out. See in grade. Okay. We will uh, put grade he in uh, here. Okay. All the value entered we will put in grade. So switch grade. Okay. Case A. So case A. We know that we have a grade A, B, C, D, E, F, fail. Okay. Uh, F, maybe we have G, maybe we have fail. Okay. So case, uh, case A, see out grade point equals to 4. Okay. And then break. Break statements will immediately exit the switch structure. Okay. When comes to this, it will exit the switch structure. So it will uh, stop uh, process uh, and then it will return the case A. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Case B. So we know that. Uh, so we have a, maybe grade point is equals to 3. Okay. And then it will break. Uh, case C point. Okay. So default. Default, okay. So default, see out it will return invalid rate, okay. Invalid rate, or maybe default we can we can uh, you failed, okay, or you you uh, receive GG, okay, or any that you want to put it here, okay. Example two using arithmetic expression as the expression. Okay, as we know, please enter number, number, okay. So, switch number modulus by 2. That's the arithmetic expression. Okay, number modulus by 2. Case 0, so we know that case 0, so number is e uh, even. Can And then it will break and case 1, the number is odd and then break. So, default, see out the input is not a number. Maybe you insert a uh, uh, alphabet A, B, so it will uh, return the default uh, value. The input is not a number. Okay. So, um, multiple value for the same action. Okay. Multiple value for the same action. As we know, we have a multiple value, case, uh, case A and also case A. Okay, we will have a uh, same case, A, A, C out, grid point, 
and then it will break so this is uh, the example for multiple value for the same action okay switch uh, okay still please enter your grade okay, switch grade case A case B case C case D pass and then it will break okay case F it will uh, output the fail answer okay or else it will uh, present you an invalid grade okay so uh, this is the example okay switch versus if else okay let's see okay like i mentioned earlier uh, it's same actually you can use both not both you can choose uh, either one either switch or if else statement okay so if you use switch statement so you will ha really have to know how to use switch okay uh, or else you just need to know about how to use if else statement okay so we know that uh, uh, this this is the same same okay so as i mentioned earlier when you put grade if you use switch so this is the way you need to uh, program your uh, your what we call your project so if you use uh, if else so this is the program uh, the, the programming uh, how to program this okay by use if else so okay the limitation of switch uh, okay the switch statement cannot be applied to data in range form if you are using identifier as expression okay what's mean by that you cannot use cannot be, okay uh, use it okay for example monthly sale less than to uh, 25k and then uh, between 35 and 49 in, Point fifty nine 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 point nine nine k, and then more than fifty k. Okay. So this is the income. Okay, income. Okay. See out. Okay. Switch monthly sales. You want to put monthly sales. Okay. Case. Uh, not more than. 200 and so on and so on so this is all the wrong uh, the wrong programs okay the wrong programming okay so this, this is the limitation of uh, switch you cannot use ident uh, identifier expression okay as a identifier yes okay how to solve it how to solve it okay, for this type of question or this kind of data use if else or nested if statement okay the limitation of switch gain switch statement cannot be applied to data in range form if you are using identifier as expression okay so for example bmi the range form you cannot use it we we know that uh, the bmi not more than 18.5 is underweight uh, between 18.5 uh, and 24.9 is normal and then 25.29.9 is overweight more than 30 is obesity okay so we know that okay and then uh, Cannot be applied to floating points data. Cannot be applied to string type of data. Okay. So we know that uh, this is the limitation of switch. 
Okay. So, uh, you need to do this exercise and submit in the Google Classroom. Same goes to this exercise and submit to Google Classroom. Okay. Okay, so convert the following. Okay, this is the exercise three. Can uh, do and submit in Google Classroom. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy to learn about C++. Okay, see ya. Bye.